moment that he knew he fucked up. <laughs> no 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 <laughs> no Okay, I finally got my gears from Amazon, obviously. Do, 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 do. What? What's this? Good luck. Okay. Interesting. How many plastic bags does this thing have? All right, you know what? Finally, final bag. What the f Here's the assembled gearbox. It's truly genius. You can see I made it easy to change out the gears and properly mesh them. Because I had this issue in the last video. So I isolated the gearing from the car body. But before I proceed with the car design, I have to move this hole here to make adjusting gears easier. Also, going back to the meshing gears, I found out that the paper method sucks. Sorry, normal guy. I thought the same thing. The reason why it sucks is that the paper method doesn't leave enough room for play between the gears. So eyeballing works wonders. And I've noticed that this amount of play is almost perfect. After completing my first test run, I went on to designing the body, but that didn't work out very well. As you can see, it looked ugly. And in one of my design, it looked like a toothpick. So I went on with making it bare and just adding a spoiler and the hood. So it would kind of help with aerodynamics and it would also help increase drag to my wheels because I know the faster it went, it started lifting off the ground. So the spoiler did help a lot. Definitely not a spoiler alert. God, I'm cringy. Another issue I kept running into was my shaft for my differential and the gearbox kept unscrewing itself when I was going at high speeds. So I solved it with a stop not going at the end of the screw. Now we have reached the part that you have been waiting for. This project has achieved a lot, such as reaching 40 miles per hour and its ability to travel on bumpy terrain, thanks to the suspension. Now, there is a lot of work that can improve the car, such as having an outside body protecting it from weather, a CV joint which will help transfer velocity equally at different angles, and another crazy upgrade would be having two motors, one on each of the back wheels. This would improve the speed significantly. but. For now, I am finished with this project, so stick around for more.